Hey everyone, it's Naomi Me from Willow and Fink. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're doing a uh, part two of our large canvas that we worked on last week. Um, so today we're just going to do the raised stenciling part of it. So what I've decided what we would do, um, we've got the canvas. Uh, we've put the two appliques on last week. If you remember, I'll just pull it up so you can see. So, okay, right. Okay, so this is the canvas that we made last week. Okay, so we've got the appliques in the corner and with the one in the middle. Okay, right. Okay, so I thought I would do it on a downward um, position today only because it's easier for stenciling. Um, as you know, last week when we laid the, uh, the foundations down, the, the putty down, we had it in a standing up position. Um, so today, because we're going to be doing some raised stenciling, it's easier uh, for me um, to sh uh, show you in the laying down position. So unfortunately today you just mostly see my hands, but, um, but you'll then be able to see what we're doing. So I'll um, just start. Um, I'll just lower you down, thank you. Okay, so you should be able to see now. Okay, great. So those that you that saw my Facebook post this morning, I used a piece of plastic that I cut a hand cut a stencil out of. I couldn't find uh, a stencil that I wanted, so I just um, found an image online, just like when we did with the cherub uh, stencil, and I just hand cut it out myself. Okay, so we're going to be flipping this. We're going to be having it one way this way and then the other way. So what we've done, so we've got our canvas. The canvas is quite large. I don't think I'm going to be able to zoom you out, unfortunately. Okay, so what we have, so I want to have this stencil in the middle. So I've got a measuring tape. Take my glasses off. So I've got a measuring tape that's got a knot in it, of all things. Okay, so I've measured the stencil and it's 34 centimetres uh, across, which is actually, sorry, 34 inches, which is round about 88 centimetres. So that's about right. So I put a, a mark here at the 17 inch mark. So just here, there's a, a pencil mark. That will be where I flip my stencil. I have already done it on this uh oops wrong way on this other side so it matches up okay so just so we've got some balance with our canvas oh scratching the table there okay so we've got our stencil and we've decided that we're going to be doing it this way around okay so i'm just lining the stencil up with the blue mark that i just made and also with the edge of the frame of the canvas. So I'll just quickly tape it down. Okay, so just a quick little bit of tape just on the edge, just so it doesn't move. Okay. So, and I'll be using a different putty filler today, only because my local hardware is having supply issues and can't get the regular putty that I normally use. So today we're using uh, this uh, filler here. Now this is a different one to what I usually use. Um, this one. So this is a, the same sort of consistency. It is a little bit um, thicker, not as watery, but that's okay. So, and this one smells a lot more. So my other putty that I've used doesn't smell but for some reason this one does. Um, again, just a different brand. Um, the lady from the hardware store couldn't tell me why they weren't able to um, get the, the putty. They just said supply issues. So um, again, this one is the one that I'm using today. It looks like it'll work the same. I must admit I didn't do a, a pre-run. Pre I should have, but I didn't. Okay, so we will just start, um, where am I going to put this? Maybe just on the corner. Okay, so this canvas is quite large. So we've just placed it down there and we've put it over the stencils that we've done previously. And again, we are just gently spreading the paste or the filler onto the stencil, just like as if we were 
buttering toast or making a sandwich or icing a cake okay so and it doesn't matter if you use a lot of the um, the filler because we do scrape it off the stencil when we're finished so to get quite a raised stencil we put, do put it on quite thickly okay so obviously the thicker you put it on the more prominent raised your stencil will be okay so we're just gently 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 spreading it over okay so we're just putting it on it does does smell okay so if you're going to use this kind of filler um, I would definitely um, suggest doing it with the window open I am in the garage with the door up at the moment and the fumes are quite uh, quite strong with this filler um, as I said my other brand of filler doesn't have a smell um, but due to circumstances beyond my control I wasn't able to get it okay so I think that's pretty much all the places that need to be filled um, so again it doesn't matter if it's not perfect or it's not smooth it may be a bit lower in some places that's fine okay so I'm just trying to build it up in the end at the side here okay so again just gently smoothing it over we can um, re-smooth it again when it's when it's dried so if you have any um, pointy bits we can just um, lift it or sorry um, sand it back when it's dry so I'm just having a look I think that's fine like that so we'll raise this stencil I mean take the stencil off so just lift off the tape okay unfortunately this is the boring bit okay so we're raising it I didn't put the tape on the canvas because I didn't want the tape to damage the um, the filler that we've put down but I don't think you'd notice it anyway okay so we'll just pull this off okay so okay there we go just scrape that off that'd be great okay so if you see here we've got our stencil okay just see if i can zoom that in for you just a moment okay so we've got our stencil and it's uh being zoomed in oops scratching and you can sort of see here um where the, where the stencil is um, and it's quite raised because I've done it quite thick um, and there is a little like a little raised piece just here but that's okay we can just um, sand that off later on if we like okay so I've just got the girls my two girls are here with me I've just got them scraping that putty off the um, other off that stencil I'll just try and zoom you back out so we can see Okay, sorry if the um, the camera's wiggling. Okay, how did you go there, girls? That's fine if there's a little bit of... So as you will see, when I pulled the stencil off, there was quite a lot of uh, filler on there, and we've just scraped it off. So all we'll do is just remove, remove this tape. Okay. And then we will just line up the stencil a bit where we were before. Okay, so we've still got this blue line, so you won't be able to see that, but that's where I made that line. Okay, and we will just lay the stencil down. So there is a little bit of a gap in between, but that's perfect, that's what we want. Okay, so I've just, I'll just reuse these two bits of tape. So I'll just tape the stencil down. The stencil worked quite well last time. Okay, so now that the stencil has been taped down um, there is a little bit of movement with the stencil because of the rough uh, background as you know usually I stencil on a flat piece and then I fill in but what I thought I'd do this time was just do it a little bit differently to see how it worked and it's worked perfectly because when I do it the other way there's always flat stuff in between the stencil but when I've done it this way 
um, you'll be able to see that, um, hopefully you'll be able to see that there's a little bit of a raised where I, oops, where I patted it with the, see if I can zoom you in just a moment. Okay, see if I can get it to go around. Okay, where we're going to bring it out, bring it in. Okay, so just where this stencil is, you'll see when the uh, filler was wet last time, I patted it with the palette knife. And you'll see now I've gone and stenciled over it that rough patting or stippling or whatever you want to call it is actually inside that raised stencil. Sorry if you can't see it very well, but this canvas is very large to be able to try and move around. And I don't want to take the canvas, I mean, sorry, the camera on and off out of the holder because that will just make things a whole lot worse for everybody. So I'll just slide it over. Um, okay, so Andre's come on here and asked me how is the new putty? Um, let's just say I prefer my old one. Okay, well, my, oops, the girls, the, okay, I've had a technical phone. My little wooden stand has just broken. Okay, right. So I'll just try and fix that. Sorry, we had my husband this morning fix my, oh, it's coming apart. Girl's going to have to hold it. Um, my husband put a little stand on the table for me to hold up my camera and um, unfortunately the screws have come loose and it's just all dropping so hence the reason I've got my two assistants to help me today to actually hold it so I'll just pull it down again and um, we will start again just a moment okay. right I'll just bring that down right okay so you can see okay Right, okay, so we'll continue to uh, putty, so we've got our stencil down, okay, and we will just continue, as I said, just like buttering toast or making a sandwich. Um, today the girls and I were working on my YouTube channel. So we, so a lot of my Facebook lives, so this one included, will be edited. So you won't get as many ums and ahs and uh, technical difficulties that we have on the lives. And they will be on my YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel is called Naomi Fink. That's me. Um, and so they're slowly, slowly putting some um, videos up onto there. So as I said, we're just editing them to take out all of the... Oops. Oh, sorry. I've got people helping with the fixing the camera situation again i'm sorry okay so so anyway so when i do my facebook uh sorry my youtube videos this technical difficulty that we're experiencing at the moment will be edited and you won't be able to see it but my husband andre has come and saved the day with some clamps and whatnot and we will fix this um fix up little stand after the youtube Thanks, Andre, <laughs> and we'll fix it up after. But as I said, if you uh, do watch this afterwards, uh, the live will stay on the on my Facebook page. But when I edit this to put it onto my YouTube channel, um, these little bits will be cut out. So um, with all the camera problems fixed, I think we'll um, get back to puttying. So thank you. Just a moment. Okay. So right here we go. So I'll bring that camera down. Okay, so we'd finished um, stenciling, so we would just put it on. As I was saying, yeah, we're doing a YouTube channel. I had all sorts of trouble trying to edit the movies, um, but I had some help from one of the ladies in my business coaching group, Sandy. She's from a, um, a Facebook page called Lumber Mill, and um, she was helping me this morning and she's just started her youtube channel as well so i've subscribed to that so between the two of us and our um facebook messenger conversations we um we've got youtube sorted um my girls have helped me a lot so they're now my production assistant so i now have two production assistants and my youngest one, she'll be, I don't know, my technical assistant. She helps get things ready for me. 
Um, so the big ones will be my video editing assistants and my youngest one will be my gopher, my go-to girl. And Andre, he will be my technical difficulties fixer-upper um, and also the person that um, gets my uh, workshop up and running and working properly. Okay, so the putty is on. It doesn't seem to smell as much anymore, so I don't know if it's because I am used to it or that there is actually a wind that's picked up and blowing into the garage. But, um, yeah, it's, it was a bit ponky when I first started. Okay, ponky is a very technical term. Okay, so we've finished with this one. Um, as I said before, uh, I've said before when um, we're padding, if we don't like the depth of the stenciling, we can always wait till it's dried and we can sand it um, back if it's too too thick. Or when it's wet, we can just scrape it off with a palette knife and restart again. Or if you find that you've pulled the stencil off and it's too thin, you can either scrape it off and try again or you can wait until the putty has dried and just lay the stencil over the top of it and um, uh, just uh, add, add some more okay so we'll just peel it this way this time and see how we go right okay let me see how we're going how we're going oh that one hasn't raised very well how do we go girls Ooh, that's worked good. out quite well so if you could scrape that for me that would be great um there is a little bit of extra putty just here so as i was just saying we can just scrape that off a little bit um okay so the yep it's a little bit thin here but that's okay because what we'll do um i actually wanted it like that because the whole idea of doing the raised stenciling on such a large canvas like this with these um the roughness that we've put on at the texture is that if it is uneven well then it matches so I've got the girls just cleaning that stencil for me I'm going to have to turn the canvas around um, apologies if it makes too much noise but it is a large canvas so, okay so I just turn it around and then you can have a bit of a, a bit of a view of the of the canvas there we go and then afterwards I will stand it up so we can have another look okay so the canvas is here um, does it need washing girls uh, I think it's okay so we did have a bucket of water to um, to clean the stencil but I don't think we're going to need it I think we're doing quite well okay I'll just grab a drink of water okay because that's quite thirsty work all of this and talking Okay, so we've got the stencil. The girls have cleaned the stencil up for me, so that's great. Again, like we did at the beginning, I've got the blue mark here, which lets me know um, where I need to place my stencil. Okay, so we'll work this way around this time. So the tape is still on it. That's great. Okay, right, so we've got the blue line. Tape it down. Good thing about this tape is that it does stay tacky for quite a while. Okay, right, and we are good to go. Okay, so we'll get some putty. So again, just again, it's just a big wadge of putty, and we just smear it. Um, if this is the first time you've ever watched me do this, um, we don't lift like this because it will actually lift up the stencil as you can see so we actually just gently smooth it out so we just gently smooth okay okay so just gently gently smooth it so if you do lift the palette knife at any stage it will lift the um, stencil but that does happen that's that's no drama because again if you've made a mistake or it somehow damaged the putty just scrape it off and start again or if you like that the way the the way it's worked out 
um, and it's a bit of a happy accident, well then, just leave it. I mean, this is your artwork when you're creating things like this, so you can have it look however you like. Okay, so we're just about done. Okay. So what I will do afterwards, I will sit the, um, the stencil up on the chair and I'll actually take the camera off the holder and actually go in and actually show the the um, the full canvas to you when we've finished doing the stenciling okay so just about done again it's a scraping swiping motion it's not patting okay so not like if we were pencil um, Hence, uh, stippling with a stencil brush with paint we are doing it with putty again just give it a bit of a a little bit of a swipe just to flatten it out a little bit and just to smoothen it out okay so now we'll lift the stencil okay and we are just about good to go so just lift the tape off Um, and if a little bit of the, um, the stencil breaks off, I think that adds more to the oldie worldy charm of it that looks like, oh, it's, you know, it is old and bits have broken off. I think it adds, it adds to it. So we'll try peeling the stencil off in this direction and see if we have a bit more, a bit more luck with it lifting more cleaner. Yeah, that seems to work. Okay, so we're lifting. So just lifting gently, lifting gently. There we go. If you lift too fast, it'll pull the putty up with it. So you need to always like um, lift slowly and uh, calmly and smoothly, and then you won't take all the putty with you. Okay, all right, let's have another drink. Okay, so the girls are just cleaning the stencil for me. So I'd ask if there was any questions, but we only have one watcher and I'm pretty sure that's Andre. So um, we're just waiting for the stencil to come back. Looks like the girls have cleaned it. They've cleaned it quite nicely. Okay, thank you. I'll just swap that putty, um, tape over. Okay, so the girls have cleaned the stencil for me. One good thing about this kind of... Um, our project is if you do have a little bit of putty left onto the stencil that's fine that just adds more texture to your project okay so we shall pop this down here so it's on okay so again I'm lining it, lining it up with the blue mark that I put on here um, and that won't matter because we're going to be painting this next week anyway and we've, I asked last week if anyone had any colour suggestions. So we have actually had some um, purples and uh, blues from memory seem to be quite popular. I quite like the idea of, of sort of going with some blues. Um, I might go with some quite strong colours as well. Maybe throw in some gold as well. I mean, we can always um, add some gold highlights over these appliques. And this one here. And we can even put some gold over uh, the ray stenciling. So it's whatever we decide to do, whatever we feel like when we go to make it next week. So the dough, oh sorry the dough, the putty will um, require at least 12 to 24 hours to dry. Um, I prefer to wait 24 hours if possible. Um, but we probably won't be going to paint this now until next Sunday. Um, so it'll be well and truly uh, dried by then. I will come back during the week and sand down any bits that I think might need attention. Okay, so we're just spreading the dough on. Um, the bits that I'm using at the, the filler, I should say. Why do I keep calling it dough? I don't know why I keep calling it dough, but the filler. Filler. So the filler... Uh, the filler that, bit that I'm using at the moment is the bits that the girls have scraped off the, um, the stencil previously and it seems to be uh, a little bit more drier than the uh, 
filler that's in the middle. So this is quite wet and pliable, whereas this stuff here on the edge is starting to dry out and stiffen a little bit more. So we'll just continue to use that. Okay, so we're just about just about finished with this. Okay, so again, it's just a sweeping mo motion, a, a buttering motion. Okay. And I actually find it quite therapeutic when I'm when I'm stenciling. It's just sort of you get in the zone, and sometimes when I'm stenciling, I sort of um, like to just. I forget that I actually have to talk because I'm just so used to stenciling and doing things by myself that um, I just sit there and get in the zone and be nice and quiet and just carry on but when I'm doing Facebook lives I actually have to talk and sometimes I run out of things to talk about so apologies if I repeat myself um, but I'm also concentrating on what I'm doing Okay, so I think that is, oops, oh, a gust of wind. I did say that I had the garage door open, just while I'm finished, the gust of wind has um, flicked that up, but that's fine. Okay, so nothing's ever a drama. Okay, so we shall peel it off this direction this time. So there we go, the wind is picking it up as well, so trying very, very, very careful. Okay, oh, I'm really liking the way that that's actually um, looking, that new putty seems to be okay. Right, lift, lift, lift. Oh, fantastic. So it was a bit of a tricky operation there to lift it off, because um, the filler had started to dry a little bit so as it's drying it's starting to stiffen and it's making it um, harder to peel off but that's fine I'm so I've finished with the stenciling for today I don't know what I'm going to put in the edges or I don't even think I will sort of up the top here um, I could quite possibly put the stent girls do you think I should put stencil up the top yeah, yeah all right okay so them, I've just asked the girls and they've said yes we should stencil so I will just put the camera on an angle and we'll do a stencil up here I hadn't planned on it but um that's what we'll do do we need to give it a wash um yeah we, we might just give the stencil a quick wash because it is starting to get a build up of dough dough a filler why do I keep saying dough I don't know Okay, so I will measure the length of this canvas so we can try and get the stencil in the middle. Okay, so it measures 60 centimetres, so the middle of our stencil is going to be 30 centimetres, which is just here. So I'll just put a little blue mark with the pen. Okay. And I'll do the same up. I'll bring you with me. And I'll do the same up this end. Okay. Right. Okay. So, sorry about leaning over. Okay. So, it's 60 centimetres. So, we need to do a mark at 30 centimetres. Okay. So, that's the middle. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. So who knew that there would be maths and measuring involved in stenciling a canvas? Okay, right. So the girls are just drawing the canvas, uh, the stencil off for me. Okay, great. Thanks, girls. Okay, so we have our stencil and I need to measure it because we're going to put it in the middle of our canvas. So the actual stencil measures... So this one here measures 31. So if we go 15, okay, so or 15 and a half, which is 12 inches in the old measurements. So if we go 15 and a half, I'll just stencil there at 31. Okay, so 
I've just made a mark on my stencil. Sort of see the blue mark, that will be the middle mark. Now, so I'll just line that up with the mark that I made. So there's the blue mark on my stencil, if you can see that. And just underneath it, just here, is the blue mark that I made um, on the actual canvas. So I'm just thinking which way. Yeah, I think that way. Yeah, I think that way will do it. Okay, I'm just thinking, do we want to stencil it or not? I don't know. Stenciling or appliques? Anyone? What do you think? Should we stencil it? Should we applique it? Should we do... Okay, I'll just raise you up. Okay, so question to my lovely viewers. Should we stencil with a different kind of stencil or should we applique? What do you think? Girls, we could possibly use um, one of the other stencil flourishes that I've got in there if we wanted to get them out and have a look. Yep, so they're just up here. Okay, so we'll have a quick look. Nothing like nothing like live stuff, hey? So we'll have a quick look, see what we can find in my stencil book. I'll just push you down. Okay, I'm just trying to see what we've got that would actually go in. We could... Which one's Georgia? Okay. What about the centerpiece? That one, this one, Andre, I don't have any spare of those. So, okay, we will just see what we've got. Mm. Uh, I'm just having a quick look. I've got this round one. This is my favorite. This one here is my favorite. We can always put that. Um, that sort of a, is a little bit swirly. I did have a swirly one this morning that perhaps we could use. Let me see. Um, I need a big stencil. We'll have a look. Um, what have I got there? Oh, actually, I've got this. Maybe this damask pattern might be nice. Okay, I think that just some small ones up there. Yeah, I think we'll use that one. Okay. All right. So that was um, a quick decision. So it was either this round one to go over here. Just turn the Okay, there we go. So the choice was half a round one, or we can put this. This is a new stencil, it's still on the plastic. Okay. Or this damask one, which I actually quite like as well. Okay, so I'm thinking perhaps this one. So that can go in the middle. So we can always line it up with, in the middle with our blue mark. I think that'll look quite nice in the middle. Okay, so yeah, we'll do that. So we'll just tape it down. Okay, so we'll just tape, use the same tape Okay, that we, that we used before. Okay, and we'll just... Um, stencil that so you know Facebook lives live action which make things up as we go along okay so we shall start to just put the putty on okay so this is a thicker stencil so this is um, one of the types of stencils that I um, sell on my Etsy store um, I've had a rush of sales uh, in the last couple of weeks and I have um, started to run out of stencils so what I've done um, I've placed a new order for some stencils but they do take a couple of weeks to come in so I'll just have to continue to make my own stencils until they come in um, Andre and I did look at a stencil maker yesterday uh, and we do have a stencil maker that we've got our eye on. So as at the moment, I currently buy my stencils in, unless they're the little um, green or yellow ones that I make. Like these ones here, you would have seen my spur of the moment stencils. 
but if we do get the stencil cutter in the next couple of weeks, um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, um, I'll be able to start making my own stencils and then that way I can make uh, my own designs and if I get any um, suggestions or requests for stencils, I can just quickly make, well, hopefully I can quickly make them up. Um, so we'll just lift that up now. Okay, right. So we'll just lift the tape off this one and we'll pull the stencil up. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. No, oh, the dough is actually getting quite... I don't like that. I don't like how that's worked out, so that's fine. So that's a good example about... Um, if we don't like the way the stencil looks, we just scrape it off and start again. I do know exactly why that's happened. It's because I'm using the old filler from the edge that we've been scraping off instead of the nice new um, wet filler that's in the middle of the, the container. So what we'll do, we'll just scrape off the filler and I'll get the girls to wash the stencil for me and we will um, take from the fresh stuff in the middle. Okay, oh hi Janine, thanks for joining me. Um, stencil maker, a silhouette machine. No, Andre and I were looking at the latest um, Brother Scan and Cut. Um, so we we're looking at, we had a bit of a demonstration of that yesterday. It's not a cheap machine, um, so it's something that we're going to have to really consider looking at. Um, but yeah, we did look at um, the crickets or cry cuts. Um, and the, um, the, I can't remember what the other one was that we looked at, um, but for what I wanted to do, I wanted, um, to be able to make my own stencil or design my own stencils, which I don't know if you can do that with the other ones, but I wanted to be able to draw them and then scan them and, it, um, just print out. So that's what we looked at. Okay. So thanks girls for doing the stencil. Um, okay, so we've still got our blue mark just there. This putty, I've scraped it off as best as I can. It is still wet, but we'll see how we go. Right, so I'll pop this back down. Okay. So we'll pop that down there and we'll tape it down again. Okay. You know, it wouldn't be a Facebook Live without something going wrong. But this is a good learning experience that if your putty is no good, um, it you know that's what happens so what we'll do we'll take the putty from the middle the fresh gooey stuff as opposed to the stuff that's on the edge that's starting to dry okay we'll just pop it on now hopefully there's the fresh stuff that's on the bottom has um, dried enough that this will take to it okay but we'll just put this on so I'm hoping that when I reseal the tub, the moisture that's in the tub will soften that um, filler that we've used on the side. Okay, if not, I'll just have to scrape it off and pop it in the bin. Okay, right, so we'll try this again. Take two. Okay, right. Okay, well, oops. that's a lot better that's worked out a lot better and that's just because we've used fresh putty so I'll just get the uh, girls to clean that stencil down for me I mean it, ha it has raised it a little bit but that's fine we'll just um, sand over that and we'll be all good right so now we need to go over to the other side so I'll just bring the filler with me and I'll bring you guys with me as well and we'll just sweep across okay the girls are, oops, cleaning the stencil for me. Okay, can you take that this right? Okay, so the girls are just drying, drying the stencil. But I'm really liking how it's how it's worked out. I think it's it's worked out quite nicely. Again, um, I'm calling for colour suggestions. So if you can think of a colour scheme. 
don't know whether to go sort of like light and pastely or rich and or we can go a mixture of both or do we just go black and you know sort of like a dark color okay so I've got the stencil okay so there's the blue line that I did before just line the middle of this stencil up with the blue line okay right and I'll just tape it down these two little bits of tape that I keep using are doing wonders this will be the last time I use them okay right so I'll just grab my little so again we've learnt our lessons we shall so Andre says moss green that would be nice nice and dark and rich that would be a nice color that would be a nice I think that'd be nice green is one of my favorite colors um, and especially like the darkish greens so I'm just getting the putty and I'm just putting them on again just okay and also there is a bit of a there is a breeze blowing through the garage door which is also making the the filler set up a lot quicker than I would like that's okay so we'll just have to I'll just have to move faster so I think that's it pretty much now okay so I'll just pull these bits of dough um, tape off pull this stencil off yeah that's worked quite well okay a couple of bits have come off of it but that's all right okay thanks girls okay so that's our okay right so that's our stenciling done for today and then next week we will we will paint it and then the week after that we will um, glaze and possibly won't be able to no it's still be too wet to uh, seal but I don't know if you really want to watch me seal or not I'm not quite sure also what we will be doing is looking at what we're going to do with the um, with the frame whether we just leave the frame as it is or we do something with it what we can do is we can um, roughen it up with some putty on the edge and just do some putty splotches or we can um, paint it a different color we can decoupage it we could use some um, fabric or some paper like some napkins or something okay so what I'll do I will stand the canvas up so you can see how it's looking at the moment I'm quite happy with it so as the stenciling that we've just done is quite wet so I need to be very careful that I don't actually knock it um, the original stuff is oh it's actually starting to set up it's actually touch dry so that's good okay I shall move this chair out the way and I'll bring over the, um, the chair now those that watched last week will remember that my husband Andre flew in and quickly saved the day when I was uh, stenciling and the canvas kept falling. So I still have the chair with the uh, little wooden stick on it. So that was um, very helpful. Okay, so I shall stand this up. So, okay, and then I'll give you a close up of what it looks like. So just a moment. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So this is the canvas at the moment. Okay. Whoops. Right, I'll move that down there like that. That's how it goes. Okay, so Andre locked it in for me, so that's good. Okay. <clears throat> so I shall bring you with me, so just a moment. Okay. So what I've done is I have... Oh, where are we? Sorry to make you dizzy. I'll just turn the camera around and then we can, I can show you. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, oh, apparently my phone's saying rotate your device. You can't move it while it's live. Okay, so sorry if anyone got dizzy with that. Okay, so this is what we've done today. Okay, um, so it was this stencil just here. And, um this stencil just down here and then we did these ones on the side so these little swirly flourishes they are what we did today 
Okay, so now that I've got you actually handheld, I can show you um, more closer what we did last week. So this is the appliques that we stuck on. Okay, and then this is the the texture um, when we uh, had the palette knife when the putty was wet and we pa um, patted it. Okay, and that's it um, here as well. And that's what I was talking about, um, how it's been patted and given texture as we've stenciled over the top of it. There's now texture inside the stencil. Okay, so we'll come down. Okay, and then this here is the other applique that we put on um, last week. So these appliques are all paper clay appliques that I hand make myself um, with my own paper clay recipe um, and they're all um, hand pressed into a mould. Some of you may have seen some photos of me doing that. Okay, so we'll scroll down, scroll down, okay, to the bottom of the canvas. Okay, so again, another applique, the stencil that we did today and the other applique and then you can see that there's lots of texture when we've been doing the um, placing the putty down so there's um, it's smooth in some places it's raised um, in some places it's got this patted effect um, I think this is like popcorn ceiling or something I think that's called so that is the canvas as it stands at the moment okay so I'll see if I can zoom out a little bit and okay see if I can I can't really stand back anymore but that's how the canvas is looking at the moment okay so I'll turn the camera around okay um so I'm trying to turn the camera around and it won't turn around there we go so I just wanted to say thank you again for um, watching my, I'll put it in the holder, actually no, I'll just hold it. Um, so thank you again for watching my uh, Facebook Live today, I hope you found it um, helpful. If you like my Facebook Lives, please like and share, comment, if you have any suggestions or um, questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, as I said, I will also have a YouTube channel hopefully this afternoon if the video is um, upload uh, and that uh, YouTube channel is called Naomi Fink um, otherwise you can find me here at uh, Will Owen Fink so again thank you so much for um, watching my Facebook live today and next week we will paint because we're finished laying down all the stenciling and the um, uh, the applique so again thank you and I'll see you next week okay bye guys